Greetings, leading ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Miss QT Style Southern Comfort Cooking. I know I haven't did a cooking video in a while, but I thought this was a special time. I am cooking stuffed bell pepper by uh, my daughter's assistant manager's request. He wanted some southern bell pepper, so I said, you know, let me get him a little taste of something, okay? So I'm going to cut around the corners. I'm not going to show everything, but I will show you guys the ingredients right now. And then, like I said, bits and pieces of how I prepare it, okay? So my daughter's going to hand me the camera because she's helping me. She's cutting the bell peppers right now. Okay, here is the ingredients. Of course, you need bell pepper, okay? And preferably, excuse the ambulance back there. That's 24-7, y'all. <laughs> shit <laughs> um, <laughs> um, the bell peppers preferably the, like the medium size to small um, I don't like the big big ones because that's more stuff and that have to go into it now we bought um, I believe we bought 10 bell peppers but we're only going to do 6 right now therefore we will have 12 stuffed bell peppers when we cut them in half okay so um, onion a half an onion I'm not going to use this whole onion about about mm, 3 cloves of um, garlic um, I have some peeled shrimp right here and it's already it's really fajita shrimps so it have like bell pepper and a red pepper and yellow pepper in here and I'm gonna cut that up very small I'm not gonna leave the um, shrimps big we just want the shrimp flavor we don't have to actually you know see that big shrimp so I'm gonna cut them in half I have some beef here that I'm gonna mix in with it um, right here this is something new I'm trying I'm gonna put like half a bag of crab meat but I'm just gonna chop it up really thin this way these three things here will give it the flavor the seafood type flavor and the meaty flavor okay then I use stove stove top stuffing a lot of people just use regular stuffing and go from there but this is where I'm cheating at you guys but also I love stove top stuffing I can eat the stuffing by itself so I got the chicken flavor and I got the pork flavor I got two of each to try to you know make it enough and of course garlic salt, black pepper, red pepper, and season all. Okay, so my daughter have um, chopped some in half and we're going to, you know, rinse them off and we're going to put them in a pot of boiling water. We're not going to boil them too long because when you boil them too long, they start falling apart. So we just want a nice consistency and a lot of people don't even eat the bell pepper like this, but I do. Do you, Leish? I don't. My daughter don't eat it. A lot of people just eat the stuff outside, so it don't even really matter. It's just for decoration for them, but I do. <laughs> I eat it, so stay tuned. <laughs> So, as you guys see, I'm using my old reliable pot, y'all. I can't get rid of it. And my daughter is crunching up, <laughs> crunching up some ground beef. We're going to brown the ground beef a little bit. And then we're going to add um, the rest of the ingredients in it. Um, be careful as to how you season it because that stove top have a seasoning pack in it. So, right now, we're not going to put any salt or pepper on it. I'm going to do that at the end so I can taste and see just what we need. Okay, so we have that going. And right here, we already have the... Um, the bell pepper in some water um, like I said a lot of people don't eat the bell pepper itself so you just have to get it a little soft not too much because you don't want it soggy so in about 10 minutes I'm gonna take it out and just let them sit okay okay so right now we have brown the um, ground beef and you can also use turkey but in this I like to use ground beef we're gonna add the onion and the garlic to the meat and finish cooking it for about five more minutes okay so the ground meat is browned and I've got, went ahead and taken it out of the pot and put it in a bowl and I used the same pot I didn't rinse it off because we want all that flavor to add the um, chopped up uh, crab meat and the shrimp and the um, other vegetable um, you know different color bell pepper Stir it around for me. And just kind of mix that together. We're going to just saute that down until the shrimp are pink. And then we know that's done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this. I'm going to add the ground beef back to the pot and um, cook it more. You never add raw anything with already cooked stuff. That's not cool. So, yeah, that's the shrimp and the crab meat. As soon as the shrimp get pink, I'm going to add the, um, the beef. And this is the bell pepper broiling right here. And I'm about to take them out of the pot. Okay, so the bell pepper is done and I've already taken it out of the hot water. I ran a little cold water on it and what I'm doing is I am putting them on this plate, uh, opening down that way so no water will be in the inside when I stuff them. 
So pretty much we calling this drying them out. So put it on a big pan. And like I said, put it downwards. And what I'm going to do is transfer it into another pan once I think all the water is out. Because let me show you. See, there's a little bit of water in here. See? So get them out as much as possible. And this helps get it out more. Okay? So while the stuffing is still like cooking and stuff, this will be drying out. And already I see I might put some of the rest of those bell peppers down in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to brawl some more the rest of them because um, I think we're going to have um, a lot of stuffing. But I'm going to show you guys something else too if we do. I'm going to show you how, how to stuff how to stuff mock pork chops. I'm not going to do the sewing of the pork chops like they do, but I'll stuff some pork chops. But I'm about to cook the rest. Okay, so see you guys, the shrimp has pink, got a little pink here. So now, keep it right there, um, camera girl. I'm going to add the ground beef back in and do the final, um, you know, cooking before I add this into the stove top stuffing or add the stove top stuffing into this. But see, this is the little mixture minus the stove top. And that's crab meat, that's shrimp cut up, and that's um, ground beef. So I'm going to cook it down a little bit more. We want the vegetables to be... Um, caramelized okay so I've already gone ahead and put one pack of the stuffing this is pork in here and I want to show you guys the little crumbs and the seasoning that's why I said to watch the season you see the parsley in there and stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and pour some chicken one in here I'm not gonna crowd this bowl I'm gonna try to mix I think I'm gonna go with a, a third one what do you think I should do chicken Chicken one? Yeah. I'm going to add chicken in here. I don't want to over on oh, the chicken one. Crowd it. Huh? You're adding another, another chicken, chicken one. Another chicken one in here. So I don't want to over crowd it, meaning that we don't want too much stuffing and not enough other ingredients. So I always kind of like eye it, like Rachel Ray and them be doing. <laughs> and uh, Paula Dean, we eye it. We eyeball it. So that's three packs of stove top. One pork and two chicken. And you can see the seasoning on here. And you can, it's really, you can smell it. You can right. smell it. That's why I said be careful. We don't want it to be too salty and stuff like that. So I would, once I mix all the ingredients together, then I will taste it. Okay, you guys, I've already seasoned about six pork chops. I'm not sure if I'm going to fry them or if I'm going to stuff them and bend them over. But however, I want my pork chops too. But that's not important right now. We're going to how we mix it. Like I said, the st stove top stuffing is already in here. So I'm adding some of the mixture, uh, back up a little bit, in, and what you do once you add, you put a little water, and I was brawling the water, of course you put water on stuff, and you kind of like pour, stir, and mix. You don't do it all at once because you don't want it too soft and soggy and you do not want it too crunchy so I, I know this is enough so I'm going to add some more of this in here and you, still hear, oops, you still hear the crunchy right so you know I'm going to add more but just mix it around and I have more of the stuffing I mean more of the crab meat shrimp and um, beef that I'm adding there's more in the pot but like I said eyeball it and see this steam is helping it um, as you can hear you don't hear too much crunching right so I'm going to mix this around enough and get it to the consistency. See at the bottom you hear it. So I'm going to add more water. Bear with me. Toward the bottom. And we're going to mix this around until I get it to how I like. Now you don't hear too much more crunch, crunching. Except for maybe on this side. <laughs> and that's how you do it. You don't just overdo it and put a lot of water not knowing. Because you don't want it gooey. You want a stuffing like. Y'all know how stuffing goes. Thanksgiving time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the next video you will, next portion, you will see us probably stuffing the bell pepper. Okay, you guys, I put the stuffing back in the pot and I have it at my right consistency. I did add cayenne pepper and garlic powder for taste. And I like to do it at the end because like I said, the stuffing has seasoning on it. So here is the bell pepper and... I'm stuffing in and I have a lot of uh, mixture left you guys so I'm gonna have to do something with it because I think I think that it's going to um, be a lot 
You just stuff them that way. A lot of people cut the bell pepper. They just cut the top off and have it like standing up. But to me, this way goes a long way. Um, it's different like if you were uh, cooking in a restaurant. But for home, so family and everybody can have it, you do it that this way. You cut the bell pepper in half and you stuff. And we're going to stuff them all. I have the other ones that I put on. I have them going in. A lot of people like to put breadcrumb on the top and put it back in the oven to make them crispy. I am not doing that because I don't like it like that. But you can. That is an option. Okay. Uh, um, someone was telling me that. I'm going to do one more on camera. That they add cheese to theirs. To me, when you add, start adding cheese and all that, it becomes something else. It becomes another dish. It's not stuffed bell pepper. It's in my eyes. Some people just use ground beef and shrimp. Not I. I like my stove top and I like... Uh, the crab meat and different flavors. I tried different things. Some people put rice. I do like it with rice sometimes, but like I said, when I'm doing it at home, I like to stuff it like this.